back for another workout Wednesday. Not wasting any time. Let's get on over to the gym. Check in with Steve. Hey, Steve. How's it going? Hey, I'm fantastic. How about you? All good here. What are we doing today? As promised, we're doing dumbbell bench presses. Awesome. Show us what to do. Grab two dumbbells that you think you can press about 10 times. Place them on the floor in front of the benches. Sit on the bench with your feet outside the dumbbells. Lift those bells up on your knees and roll back onto the bench. Angle your arms slightly towards your waist. The key is not to have them flared out. Lower your elbows below the level of the bench. Feel the stretch of your chest muscles. Then press those weights up over your head. It's the same arching motion that we saw last week for our floor presses. Be sure to squeeze with your chest. Hold the contraction at the top for a second and slowly lower the weights all the way down and feel the stretch in your chest like you did at the beginning. Then press them back up. Keep going until you hit failure, which should be between 10 and 12 reps. Any more than that, you need to go up and wait. Once you fail, take a 60 second rest and hit them again. Nice. Um, how many sets should we do? I'd say stick to three sets for beginners. Okay, three sets, and I'm guessing uh, we're controlling those weights, not Definitely. Dropping. dropping weights is very dangerous, especially in a rubber gym floor. They can bounce, can hit you or someone else. Don't do it. It's also a great idea to have a spotter, somebody that can help you out when you're lifting. If you don't have a gym partner, just ask somebody else in the gym. Most of us gym rats are friendly and enjoy helping them. Hey, man. Cool yeah. shirt. Oh, hey, thanks. Can you give me a spot? Yeah, sure. No dropping weights. Use a spotter. Okay, cool. What are we doing next? We're going to continue pushing with some incline bench press. Awesome. We'll see you then. Later, dude.